Welcome to Club Ambition. I am Sound. Today, one of the craziest days in the history of America. Historical day. No matter who you're voting for, no matter what you believe in, and no matter how you feel about this man. Today, July 13th at 6.15 p.m. in Pennsylvania, Donald Trump was attempted to be assassinated. Literally, bullets fired, shots fired. They have now confirmed that it was a sniper in the field across from where the actual rally was being held. So about 200 yards away from the actual location of the rally, the speech where Donald Trump was speaking. And there was actual spectators, people there observing and pointing to the shooter. They witnessed the shooter. They were trying to get the actual Secret Service's attention, police attention, but the police allegedly ignored the people there. And then 6.15 p.m., the shots from across the field of the sniper, the shooter. They still have yet to identify the shooter. But what is confirmed, 200 yards from the location, the shot was fired from the shooter, and then the shooter actually hit Donald Trump on a top right ear. We have photos, literally photos by uh, photographer Doug Mills from the New York Times. This whole situation has now just given some of the most historical footage, some of the craziest photos we've ever seen in life. This is the first presidential assassination attempt in my lifetime, the first one in years and decades. And the bullet missed the president, but it hit him, it grazed him. He got hit in the top right ear. And you see in these photos, literally you can see the actual bullet flying and hitting right here. And then Trump going like this to kind of catch the blood that hits his hand. It's pretty, it's insane. It's it's, it's some of the craziest photos I've seen in my life. Um, The bullet went through the ear, top right ear of Trump. Then it went and hit allegedly a man in the head in the stands. And a woman as well was injured. In her feet, in her legs. That's what they're saying. The man passed away and a woman is now injured in the hospital. Allegedly, there might be another person injured as well. These were attendees of the Trump rally, Trump supporters at his rally. What the fuck now? This is just weird. This all feels like a parody. People swear that this is staged when it's not. They think it's fake when it's not. They're not realizing that obviously Trump is a father, is a parent. He has said a lot of very controversial things and done a lot of very controversial policies. It does not mean that he deserves necessarily death. I don't think anyone should be wished death upon. It's it's a weird time, right? And now what we're going to get is security at all these rallies and these conferences times 10, more than ever before. Um, Trump, the, no, no, Biden already has canceled, they're saying for now, momentarily, a bunch of the campaign ads. There's not going to be any campaign ads against Trump for the time being because of this. I think that this has just now handed the election over to Donald Trump. If Donald Trump, in your eyes, was not winning prior to this assassination attempt, he has now got it. Why? Because the sympathy. The whole country now will sympathize with Donald Trump, especially once they see that it's an actual shooting, a real shooting, and his life was at risk, and actual people died at this rally. Innocent innocent people, bystanders, at the rally. It does not matter who you vote for. No one deserves death because you're voting for someone, and because you're running for president doesn't mean you deserve death either. Now, what will happen? I think that he will win the, the election. I think he's going to win the election by default. Objectively even speaking, that's my prediction. And he's going to use this as a rally cry, right? This is his Tupac moment. In my mind, immediately, I started hearing, Many men wish death upon me. No, I don't die no more. Don't look to the sky no more. Have mercy on me. (laughs) Immediately, I'm like, yo. And you see Trump going like this, like... Immediately after getting shot, Trump is telling the crowd, fight, 
fight, blood on his face. It feels like a fucking movie. It's unbelievable. That's why I think people probably think it's staged. Because it's unbelievable. But guess what? It really happened. And it's not okay. None of this should be normalized. None of this is normal. None of this is okay. None of this is all right. It's unfortunate and it's sad. And may God protect us all. You can hear the actual Secret Service say on the footage, we've got the shooter, we're good, the shooter's down, we're clear. Biden has already said that there's no place in America for this kind of violence and that this is sick. You cannot have planned a better campaign marketing strategy, though, than this. It's all working in Trump's favor. This is like... Uh, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. The amount of attention he's going to get now, the fame, the sense of being infamous and historical, being a former president that, while running for president again, was attempted to be assassinated, and he survived. Not only did he survive, he has injuries, and he has actual blood and photos and evidence of it being real. I don't think you guys understand how cocky Trump is about to be. This is insane. This is really insane. I, I've been speechless just thinking about this. Even recording this feels unreal. But, yeah, where were you the day that Trump was shot and attempted to be killed? Now, don't, don't forget, he is a charged felon. He has record right now, currently. Um, but he's been granted necessarily immunity, right? In the sense where he can still run for president. He's going to still be running, obviously. And this is all coming at the same time when Biden, people are saying that they want him to drop from the race. And he allegedly is going to drop from the race because Biden's a performance has been horrible vis uh, visibly. He seems ill and he seems like he's not there physically. His health is questionable. So it's not the best image for a president right now. So Biden's looking like crap. Trump just got shot at. And just summarize the whole year. This might be the craziest year of all time if you really think about it. Cat Williams started the whole year by saying that the truth will be revealed. Right? We have Diddy being exposed. Maybe facing jail time. We don't know. We have Trump being charged. He's a felon, right? Convicted felon. We have Biden stumbling his words, 81 years old, behaving as if he's 95. The biggest rap beef maybe of all time with Drake and Kendrick Lamar. And now we have Trump attempted to be assassinated. You can't make this shit up. What type of year is this? This year is crazy. And we got the Hawk Tour girl going viral. Hawk Tour! No, this is crazy. This is crazy. Leave a comment down below. How do you guys feel? Share your opinion. There's a lot of conspiracies out there. People will always make a conspiracy of this. Even once the person is revealed, the shooter's revealed and everything, and if there's more details on why he did this, there will always be conspiracies on this. Any historical event involving a political figure being attempted to be assassinated, there's going to be historical conspiracy theories the, his, the conspiracy theories will always be, be will live they're gonna say that trump now there's a new is a new version of trump is a clone they're gonna say this is all planned this is all fake this was him doing it on purpose they said that it was bb guns it wasn't real bullets people have passed away let's be empathetic to some degree on a human level and calm the fuck down. You can hate the guy, but do you hate him that much? If you hate him that much, why didn't you grab the gun and go do it yourself? Because you don't hate him that much. You just think that you do. It's okay to disagree and move on in life. But no one deserves acts of violence on, the, on this late nature, especially someone who's a family man. I, I just, I, it's, it's crazy. This is crazy. God bless. God bless us all. America, um, and I will be now running for president of the United States as well. No, no, just kidding. Uh, I now announce as well that I will be running for the president of the United... Just kidding. No. Never, never. No, I'm good. And if you thought that all these, the Proud Boys, all these alleged groups 
have that have rallied together and done protests from all angles on all sides are now about to be heightened to another level. We've never seen this. We were almost at the brink of a civil war if Trump were to pass away. This is crazy. Be safe, everyone out there. Hug your loved ones. Hug your family. Tell them you love them. We already have now Elon Musk coming out and saying that he fully endorses Donald Trump right after this attempted shooting. And there's now footage of the Secret Service shooter that was targeting and looking in the direction when they noticed the shooter and they looked over and then shot over the shooter, but not in time, not on time at all. Obviously, the shooter ended up still shooting his shot. Eventually, onlookers said that they saw the actual Trump shooter be shot in the head and die. They saw him be shot and killed. They witnessed it all happen. He was dressed in army gear and military gear. A high level investigation is about to happen. This makes Trump look more powerful in the eyes of even international people, Putin, etc. We're going to look at Donald Trump as someone that has now been attempted to be assassinated, like many of them have been. In America, it's not as common as international leaders, but now they're going to look at Donald Trump as someone that they can relate to and be like, oh, wow, they really hate this guy. Why? Why do they hate this guy this much? Right? Also, it could be a sign, many can argue, conspiracy theory from the government. Hey, we warned you, you're running still, we don't want you to win, and then look at what's going on. We attempt to kill you. Lord knows what happened, right? The conspiracies are going to be endless, endless, endless. All I do know is that he's alive. Unfortunately, people passed away. Rest in peace and condolences to the families of the loved ones and the loved ones of the people that have been injured and passed away at the Donald Trump rally today. Yeah, this shit's crazy. 50 Cent already reacting. And now we even had Drake reacting to the Trump shooting in a new post on Instagram with a bar that reads, the pressure from being on top does more than just make your ears pop. Donald Trump was shot, obviously, in the ears. Donald Trump now will now become Tupac, officially Tupac. He will walk around like he's Pac. He'll walk around like Tupac. After Tupac survived being attempted to be shot, that's Tupac right now. Tupac Trump. Shakur Trump. Donald Pac. Donald Pac is here. You know what I'm saying? True Pac. Trump Pac. Pac Rump. Pac Ump. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tupac Trump is here. Um, holy shit. Love you all. Be safe. Enjoy your week, your weekend, your night, wherever you do, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Club Ambition out to the world. Much love, y'all. Oh,